So we've got the gearbox mounted up. It's just sitting on top of the plate. I haven't done anything with that yet. The plate's bolted to the leaf motor. So that's all sitting loose. I don't know if we can see inside the, the, cup, the coupler sitting there. So I've got 36 volts hooked up on the controller. Obviously the gearbox is not designed to be upright in a moving position. So if we look at it, I'll start it up. We'll get it moving slowly first. I mean, it's not gonna go very fast. And that sounds good to me. It doesn't sound like there's any binding or catching or anything untoward. If we look at the top where the, it's probably amplified as it goes up to the gear change. If I spin it up a bit more, Oh, that's, that's maxed out now the lever so I'm really happy with that there's very minimal wobble at the top of that if any at all really so they must have done a good job with centering the two the two uh, clutch plates slow it down I don't know what gear I've got it in probably second I think I'm not sure let's get that going slowly so I'm really happy with that actually that's turned out really well that's my first attempt I was Hoping I'm not going to have to make a second one. So I think what I'm going to do next is... I'm going to measure the bolts, I think. I think they're M8s on these. I'll get some M8 bolts. I don't know, I'm really happy with that. What do you think? Obviously, it's not spinning at 360 volts, but but there's pretty much no wobble at this speed. taken the regen off. I've lowered the regen completely on that so that's why it slows to a stop. Now. I think the gearbox is making them funny noises because it's upright. There's probably not much oil at the top where there should be. So I'm going to leave it at that actually. I'm going to get some bolts sorted out and then we'll get on with our drift punches and we'll start locating some holes.